How are we doing, friends? Welcome back to the Nightmare Cabin. As I said before, we are back in the swing of things and we are back to doing reviews. And the reason I started this channel was so I could talk about bands like this. This is a band that's very dear to my heart. This is a new compilation from the band Brutality. And it's a really awkward word that I'm going to struggle to pronounce properly. Sympaternity. Sympaternity. Yeah. I think that's it. Um, I've got to admit, I'm a little bit... I thought this was a new album. Um, it wasn't until I got about halfway through it when I got a live edition of... Um, and the walls would be your grave. I was like, hold on a minute. And then I went and looked it up. But no, it's a compilation. But it doesn't matter. Because I'm happy to get anything from this band. So, excuse me. Brutality. If you, um, for those that are uninitiated, Brutality are one of the most underrated death metal bands. They are absolutely fantastic. And they should be a hell of a lot bigger, basically. And, um... If you don't know them you should so the best way to well it's it's death metal the way you know it and love it is classic old school i don't even want to say old school because it's timeless because their albums sound just as fresh today as when they were released they they're just absolutely pummeling um brutality it says it in the title really but um, as brutal as this band is, they have awesome, big doses of melody thrown in. Amazing um, like melodic solos. But when I say melodic, and none of it takes away from that punch. It just, it just adds to the intensity, adds to the atmosphere. And um, yeah, we, um, I've, like I say, I think there's a new album in the pipeline. This is on a new record label as well. So I'm ho I'm hoping and guessing that this is just a little... Just obviously everything that's been gone on with all the bollocks that we've all been through the last two years, maybe this is just a little sweetener before the album comes out. But um, yeah, let's get into it. I mean, I think... I think the, the great underrated death metal bands i would say monstrosity brutality and mortal scold definitely i want to say a fourth band but i'm having a bit of a brain fart and i can't think i want to say there's a fourth band but i can't think at the moment but yeah definitely definitely those three brutality monstrosity and mortal scold those three bands don't get the credit that they're due and um you know this is why I wanted to do a channel. This is why I want to get talking to you. I want to show stuff off. And, you know, talk about the bands we all know and love. But with that, segue in a band that you might have missed. And I think this is um, this is the perfect time to jump on board if you're not familiar with Brutality. So what we've got here is a compilation. Um, new lineup as well. I want to go through this quickly. Um, now, before I get into that, I know I always say this. I know... I annoy myself, but I will be doing a less talk about video on brutality at some point. So um, I'll be going through the whole back catalog. I've got a pretty cool collection when it comes to brutality. I've got some cool stuff to show off to you. So um, yeah, let's get into this. Is the uh, first release with the new lineup. So um, you've got Jeff Akers on bass. He's like the Steve Harris of the band. He's been in the band since 1987. You've got uh, Scott Regal on vocals. He he came along when when they started doing the albums, but he wasn't on the demos. But yeah, when's that? Since nineteen, when was the first album? But they did a the Hell on Earth EP first, didn't they? No, not even that. Hold up. You've got the uh, Sadistic single. That was it. And uh, was Scott Regal on that one? Yes, he was. And. Um, when was that released? That was in 1992. So, since 1992, Scott Regal's been the vocalist. One of the, again, one of the most underrated death metal vocalists. When everyone comes up, those best death metal vocalists, hardly anyone ever mentions him. They should, because he's fucking got the, the deepest... 
It's not even a growl. It's a roar. The guy just... He's awesome. And um, so they're the, they're the two that have been the, the longest and have been there uh, the most uh, consistent. You've got Jay Fernandez on guitars. Jay Fernandez is one of my favourite people in the whole world. Um, he's a fucking phenomenal guitar player. And he's the biggest shit poster on Facebook. He's fucking brilliant. And um, I am... We, I did interview him once for the uh, rock show with Gully and, show, uh, Gully and Joe. And um, I I keep saying it, but I'm, I'm going to get him on the channel. And it's going to be fucking awesome because he's a fucking good laugh. And uh, right, so we've got two new members in the band now. Uh, Jay was in the band for the first um, first album. Then he left and then came back for the last album. And, um, and then now we've got additionally on guitar uh Jarrett pritchard who um used to be in funny enough one of the other underrated bands i can't put him in the same league as mortal skull monstrosity and brutality though because only ever did two eps um but you got this compilation by eulogy um this is on uh dark symphonies awesome record label they specialize in just reissues of out of print stuff but this is fucking awesome. And um, Jason... Oh, fucking hell, I forgot the guy's name. That's embarrassing. Jason... Oh, fuck it. Quick, quick, quick. Give me his name. Jason Avery. There you go. Fucking hell. I've interviewed him as well. Um... Who would then go on? He would replace uh, George Corpse Grinder in Monstrosity. Before he was in them, he was in this band. And this is a, like I say, they did, I think they did, I think they did a couple of demos in an EP, something like that. But yeah, this is all compli compiled in this. If you watch the Cannibal Corpse DVD, it explains it all. And um, But it most recently, he was in a, uh, a deaf doom metal band called Polkra Mortar and um, yeah this is a phenomenal album and um, but Jarrett is also a uh, shit hot producer so um, string of releases but most notably you could say Goat Whore Gruesome and 1349 and um, also interesting thing about him uh, Morris Sound Studio the uh, tape deck thing that they used I think they sold, they had to, Eric Rutan and Jarrett got the equipment from Morris Sound Studio, something like that. Um, Eric Rutan uh, explains it on the 8 Eternal DVD. But I'm, I'm yeah, my memory's all gone at the moment. But it's something along those lines. But yeah, he's a shit producer, shit out guitarist in two fucking awesome bands, and now he's in Brutality. So only an extra layer of awesomeness he <coughs> he produced their last album as well and also they got a new drummer um ron palmer who um is also now in malevolent creation if you saw um the last malevolent creation tour the one they just did recently if you're in america or the one before that if you was in uh europe and america where they toured with uh Bat batushka or something that you know that russian black metal band also, he's in Petition Temple um, with the uh, guy, I forget the guy's name, um, from Angel Corpse. Yeah, Petition. So, Petition Temple, Malevolent Creation, and Brutality as well. Guy's fucking awesome drummer as well. Um, yeah, when I saw him in Malevolent Creation, he's just fucking, oh, it looked like his arms were about to fly off. Anyway, so we've got an awesome new lineup for an awesome band. And as I say, this is a uh, compilation. So starting off, you've got um, two brand new tracks, most notably the uh, orchestrated Devastation. Fucking amazing. It's such a good song. It's everything you want in the Brutality song. Good pummeling riff. Um, good catchy little riff in the middle of it. So it's like... And then they just chuck in this... Riff. It's fucking great. And um, 
the solos. Fuck the solos, man. They are. I, I mean, I want to say it's Jay because Jay always does. The, the, he again in the middle of a pummeling, brutal fucking death metal song, he will just cut through like a fucking ray of sunshine through dark clouds with his solos. And um, I don't know if Jarrett's doing a few solos on there as well, but there's a few speckled through the through the song, and then there's this like devastating one towards the end where. So you've got like a real cool sort of ringing out, slight like melodic one. And then you've got like a real frantic one towards the end. But yeah, awesome. And uh, Fluent in Silence is a really good song as well. I um, I, I prefer Orchestrated Devastation out of the two of them. But I'm happy with these two new songs. And um, if, this is a, if this is a hint on what the new album is going to be like, yeah, awesome stuff. And um, also on this, you get... The band put out a... Because I know they got an album in the pipeline because they put out an EP, a uh, seven-inch where they re-recorded two songs, um, which I've got here, and it's fucking signed. And uh, there you go. There's the uh, band there. Let me see if this is a. Uh... So you're getting a sneak peek to the Let's Talk About video when I go through the whole catalogue and show stuff off. And, uh, oh, oh, shit. Oh, we've got a pick. I'm going to put that there. And, um, here we go. See that? Ooh. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Signature by the man himself. And, uh, yeah, how cool is that? there you go so the two yeah the, this EP was actually um, to help fund the new album so I'm guessing the new album is in the pipeline But uh, and now they're on this new label if they uh, didn't quite get around to doing it or finishing it hopefully they'll be able to now but yep yeah, very happy to have that and uh, <laughs> probably cost cost three times to import it to the UK than the actual EP was but I didn't care but yeah the two songs on that 7 inch are now on this CD and then you get um, so two new songs two re-recorded songs so you got um, Artistic Butchery which is Artistic Butchery is on the second album yeah so Artistic Butchery which was originally on their second album When the Sky Turns Black and then we've got uh, re-recorded uh, Crushed, which is on the um, debut album Screams of Anguish. Then we've got a uh, four live songs from, uh, I think it's Maryland Death Fest. Let me just quickly look it up. Yes, Maryland Death Fest 2019. Um, so you've got four live tracks. I think you got you got two from this album. One from the latest album, which is on Repulsive Echo, by the way. As you know, go always go check them out. And what's the last one? These Walls of Your Grave, this thing. Cryptorium is on that, isn't it? Yeah, Cryptorium. 4852, Cries of the Forsaken. Is that on this one? Yeah, that's on this one as well. All right, so you've got three... So, yeah, you've got three live tracks and one recorded track from this album. You've got a re-recorded track from that album. A live track from this album. And two brand new songs. So, the point I'm making, fellas, <clears throat> is if you're not familiar with Brutality, this is the perfect introduction to the band. And if you are a fan of Brutality... This is a perfect little stocking filler until the new album comes out because you've got a short live set, two recorded, re-recorded songs, two brand new songs. So everyone's a winner on this. There's no excuse not to get it. Like I say, if you like brutal, pummeling, punishing, fucking awesome death metal with just a right dose of melody just to break things up nicely, you cannot go wrong with this band. You need this fucking band in your life. So... Yeah, this, this covers all bases. Perfect introduction and perfect 
stopgap release and new release if you're a fan um if you are new to the band yeah definitely start with this definitely get this it's available on amazon it's easy to get hold of use this as your introduction and if you like this and you want to dig deeper start at the beginning the screams of anguish and then just work your way through the catalog you've got um four albums and then a couple of eps and odds and sods and all the rest of it but the main bulk of it is four albums but um yeah start with that then go to that then don't worry i'm going to be doing a let's talk about video soon and i'll i'll talk you through everything i'll go through the whole catalog and show you all the bits and bobs to get so but this should tie you over in the meantime it will be coming soon so yeah brutality get on it and as always thanks for watching i love you guys leave me a comment let me know what you think and i'll see you on the next video take care